Welcome to Leading Organizations That Matter, a podcast for anyone who is interested in the topics of leadership, organizational culture, and finding meaning and purpose in our work. I'm Ray Spadoni, former CEO of what I like to describe as Organizations That Matter and current consultant, author, and speaker. Today's topic is scaling the high wall. No one wants to take on a great challenge for no good reason. You don't hope for heavy headwinds, rough seas, a high wall to climb over. But life throws these things in our direction sometimes, and so we often are confronted with classic fork in the road choices. Do I push through the headwinds, sail across the rough seas, climb over that wall? If we're smart, balanced, and reasonably confident, then we can make a return on investment style choice. We determine whether the benefits outweigh the costs, and then off we go. Or not, depends on the outcome of the analysis. That said, there are few things more satisfying than scaling the high wall simply because it was difficult and hey, you're up and over it now and on the other side and that feels pretty good. But the other benefit of scaling the high wall is that not everyone who approaches that wall will choose to scale it. It will act as a natural barrier and that can be to your benefit. For example, taking the risk to develop and launch a service may prove difficult, but being there with that service first helps you to establish the market and build natural barriers to entry for others. Or focusing on on your organization's culture as part of your workforce development efforts can aid in recruitment and retention initiatives, creating a real competitive advantage for you. Or striving to meet a long-standing and nagging community need even if financially onerous, can open the path toward funding opportunities that will no longer be available to others now that you have shown that you are willing to tread where no one dared to previously. Or taking the time, energy, focus, and money to make sure that the program you are divesting will find its way into capable and committed hands so that it could prosper and thrive going forward rather than simply moving on from it quickly, could build goodwill in the community. And that may solidify your organization as one that, despite the difficult decision, is still one that can be depended upon and trusted. One of my favorite quotes is from Wilbur Wright of the famous First in Flight Wright brothers. When the race was on to get a manned craft craft up into the sky safely, everyone was looking to channel the wind, ride atop it the way you would surf the waves. But it was Wilbur and Orville who figured out that it would be best to head right on into it. Wilbur said, no bird soars in a calm. Few truly notable accomplishments happen without a strong headwind without opposition, challenges, naysayers, doomsdayers, critics, and those who argue that the flatter road is the better one. But it's in the rising up that makes all the difference in the world. The high wall. When you're standing at the fork in the road, one path may look easier, but it may not be the better one. The other may pose more risk and uncertainty, but if that path is the high wall, don't simply focus on what it will take to get over the top of it. Think also about what it will be like once you're on the other side. Thanks for listening. I hope you'll consider subscribing and providing a review on Apple Podcasts or your platform of choice. Feel free to learn more about me and my work at redsailadvisors.com. Mm-hmm.